Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. You can contact me with this information. In today's lesson, we will continue with our SQL accounting system training and we will talk about maintain customer. So let's log on to SQL accounting, but this time we will use the testing company to teach. So same things, username is admin, password is admin. So we go to customer, maintain customer. When you log into maintain customer, the first thing that you can see is that this is the fastest way for you to know that anyone is owing you money, the outstanding column. Without going to customer statement, customer aging, or even due document. And over here, you can see a lot of column. So the first row is empty, is for you to do searching. For example, I want to search a company name, something security. Okay, what you need to do is just click on the first row of company name, type SEC, and you can get your desired company. What if I do not remember the company name? I just remember there's someone called Jennifer. So you just go to attention, you just type Jennifer. So the result will come up. And what if, tell me Brian, I want to search using email. There's no email here. So what I can do is anywhere in SQL accounting system that you can find there's column, then you can do field chooser. There are two ways to do that. The first way is right click on any of this column title, for example, attention, you right click the attention. Then you can see field chooser, click field chooser and drag out any desired field. For example, I want to drag out email. So you just left click, do not release, drag and just put where you want, drop over here or do not. You want to drop at next to attention, make it bigger. So you can search using email. And I do not want company category inside here. So I just, just drag and remove back. The other way is at the column title, the most left hand side, there's a very small button with a lot of row, a lot of line. So you just click on this button and click maybe fax number one. Click and you have your fax number. So this is how you make use of the column to do searching. And all this can be export to Excel directly. Right click any column title again, then go to read export. You can export to Excel. So let's create a new customer by clicking the new button. Let's say the customer is called syntax. Okay, you can put in the category, the address, and so on. Let's simply put an address. What if there's this company have a branch which I need to deliver sometimes the goods to this branch. So what I need to do is click on the plus sign at the branch section over here. Put pinning for example. So you have pinning branch. Remember, you cannot change the billing. You just add on. You must have the billing as a default for the branch name. Okay, you have your billing address. Or sometimes may not be a branch. It's just a contact info for this company. You want to chase payment, you chase who you chase. So you just click on the plus sign again. Then you just type chase payment. You want to chase Alice. Then what is the contact number? Okay. Or you want to have a record of the CEO house. So during festive season, you want to send hamper. So we have the CEO address. Imagine this is just the same contact information for the same company in your handphone. So everyone of your company can share out the same contact now. And you can see that there are other fields at the bottom here such as area, agent and so on. What if I want to categorize this customer into an area of um, churras? There's no churras or setup up. There's no option for me to select. So what I need to do is first way, I can go to tools, maintain area, or I just simply click on the three dot button next to that view, example area. It will bring me to the creation of that view. I click new. I just put, let's say, setup up. 
then click save now close it you are able to select SERTA part it's just a shortcut for you to create the options for the same field so you can put in the credit control okay depend on your module that you purchase for SQL let's say you put 30,000 you can click on the invoice I will stand for invoice then when the outstanding reach 30,000 it will block you to uh, issue invoice you can put in notes okay for this customer and you can set the GST tax code for this guy I'll talk more on GST tax code in later part of the sessions uh, personally I like to use attachment very much is because uh, for me I have a lot of customer and they every customer have their own activation code so for the ease of get back the same activation code and send back to them so I just simply do attachment so how to do that is just go to attachment click on the plus sign and you can go to for example a desktop you want to attach this file okay so next time when you want to search a document very simple just look for that client let's say it's syntax go in and go to attachment double click on the document so remember this attachment the system only create a link to that document it does not put the document into SQL so you do not need to worry that it will burden the database but if that document have been removed from that location then the link will not be working correctly for example I remove that form to another place so when I try to open back the link you have an error message so system only create a link to that document so basically um, this is how you create a customer and we'll talk about maintain supplier in the next session if you do have time do drop by at my Facebook help me to like my Facebook you can have all the latest information regarding GST regarding SQL and also if you want to watch previous tutorial video just go to my website it's syntech.com.my go to YouTube and you can actually get all the tutorial video over here so that's all for today I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies thank you